brothers and sisters, I'm just so happy to hear all these beautiful, beautiful testimonies. Let me tell you, I'm in Scotland at the moment, and to be honest with you, I feel as if I was with you on the front, on the front line. I was on my knees. Every top of the hour I was on my knees praying for this work. Uh, Brother Talent and Tender, you know how excited I am about this ministry. Wherever I go is what I'm doing. I just want to encourage each and every one of you, if it is your first time, and those of you have been doing it for many, many times, listen, there is a time when you're going to feel discouraged. And it's only natural, it comes. But when you're discouraged, just know that that's the enemy trying to take you away from you know, the true purpose, you know? The devil will come in all shapes and forms. And when you hear somebody who is trying to discourage you, when you know that I'm supposed to be going, just do not listen. Go on your knees and keep going, keep moving, because God is with us in this work. We are not in it by ourselves. As long as your heart is willing, and you're ready to work, God is going to use you in ways that you'll never understand. I just want to give you a small testimony. It's, it's completely away from um, from the coronation, but it's God's work, right? Some of you know that we are in between, you know, preparing the country, leaving, and, you know, making. we have made the steps, and we are always back and forth, back and forth. So um, for the last two years, we've been back and forth to Uganda and, and Scotland, you know? We are transitioning slowly. It's not easy, but God is faithful. He is truly, truly, truly faithful. And when we got the land, we didn't have anything on it, completely. But one day I stood there because my heart is always yearning and we are a placed in a place called Jinja. I don't know if you, any one of you know uh, Uganda. Jinja is the second big can, uh, city of, of Uganda. So it's quite beautiful. That's where the source of the Nile is. Just to give you a synopsis of how that place is. So, um, and I, I stand in, 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 in the big, this land or wherever God placed us in that place. And I'm like, God, how do we begin a class here? Because I was thinking, how do we then get quickly connected with the, with the environment, with the community, with the local people? How do we know? How do we get to know them? You know? And, and then the Spirit talked to me and said, yes, why not? So in that land, there is a, I don't know if some of you have seen my testimony, there, is, there, there are trees you know, calyptus trees. And you know how they grow so tall like this and in, in a line. So I stood there, so nice, it's a nice environment. There is a breeze, natural breeze, it's so beautiful. And I'm like, but God, we can surely stop your class here. I don't know how. <laughs> There's nothing on the land, nothing at all. But I, it kept disturbing me. I went home and I kept thinking about it, kept thinking about it. And then the, the next day I came, I told about, I, I told a friend of mine, I said, you know, how do we create a class in these trees? And we can open up the garden to the community, you know, because God says use what you have, isn't it? So if you're willing to use what you have, what is in your hand, you know, that's what he told Moses, what is it that you have in your hand, you know? And that's what he, the rod he used to pack the water of the Red Sea. So in that, in the, the, that same week, we started putting, you know, uh, creating natural chairs in those trees. Let me tell you, something that as simple as it, you, it sounds, as you can hear it, we opened up the gate to the community and we started teaching the health message, the, the eight laws of health. Brother Talent said that it is the right arm of the gospel. Let me tell you, it is truly the right arm of the gospel because people came the first day, 20 people, the next time, the next week, 30, 40, 
50. Right now we have a group about 60 people coming. They've been coming for six months and we have been taking them through the, the, the discovery lesson. Yes? And we meet every Tuesday after the lesson, we feed them. We said, okay, some of them will just come for food, right? But if they come this week, the next week, the next week, they, they, they will hear the word of God and something will grab them and they'll say, we are teaching them how to make um, milk. We are teaching them how to heal themselves with using simple, simple remedies, natural remedies. People are giving us testimonies how they have used charcoal and this has happened, this happened. Let me tell you, it's such a joy to serve God. There is no greater joy in this life. We don't have time left anymore. Let us be found working wherever we are, in any situation, in any circumstances. As long as we are willing, God is ready to work with us. I just want to encourage you, continue what you're doing. God is with you. It doesn't matter the, the challenges. The challenges are there to discourage you. But if you can pass through them, like I uh, was listening to Brother Peter, how the car, the windscreen, whatever, but you managed to cycle until you were there. That is the determination what, you know, that God wants to see us going through. So I just want to encourage you and I just want to praise God for what you have done in London. Medical missionary work is the right hand of the gospel. It is necessary to the advancement of the cause of God. As through it men and women are led to see the importance of right habits of living, the saving power of the truth will be made known. Wherever the truth is proclaimed, instruction should be given in the preparation of healthful foods. God desires that in every place the people shall be taught to use wisely the products that can be easily obtained. Skillful teachers should show the people how to utilize to the very best advantage the products that they can raise or secure in their section of the country. Thus the poor, as well as those in better circumstances, can learn to live healthfully. Not all are called to personal labor in foreign fields, but all can do something by their prayers and their gifts to aid the missionary work.